it's Saturday today and I just came back from a really nice walk it's really warm outside today and it's sunny summer weather makes me really happy for today I am gonna do some sketches and maybe some watercolor so I took a picture when I was walking this morning and I think I might try to recreate that this is the photo I took today CN Towers right in the middle and then there's two condos beside it I might just kind of crop it like that and then draw this portion we'll see if my skills are good enough if not it's okay I'll just keep trying <laughs> so I'm just using my mixed media sketchbook right now and I've separated the page into four quadrants and I'm just gonna work on this one first so I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of me sketching it out hey guys how are you guys doing are you guys staying sane at home? <laughs> I know a lot of places are opening back up now, but make sure you're still keeping safe and wearing your mask when going outside. I've just been really into drawing and painting lately because I've been getting kind of bored and the creative side of me really wants to express herself. So. I decided to do some sketches and I've been playing around with gouache paint so I've been doing some of that as well. I think the last time I was super into sketching was probably around 2018. That was when I just came back from exchange and I decided to sketch a bunch of pictures that I took back in Japan. I had so much fun but then I think I had to study for the CFA level 1 in December and I kind of just gave up on sketching. Now that I have a little bit more time, I figured I would get back into it and practice some of my sketching skills and painting skills. So I think you're going to be seeing a lot more videos of that in the coming weeks. I think I'm done the sketch. That took about an hour or so. I'm gonna quickly outline it with a liner and then I will probably start watercoloring it. Probably do some clouds in the back with the watercolor, but that's gonna be hard. So I might use masking fluid to cover up all the buildings um, and CN Tower so that I don't get the background colors onto it. It's been a while since we talked because my camera ran out of batteries and it took like two and a half hours to charge. So I've done a bit for my drawing. I will show you. I already lined it, if you can tell. I've kind of screwed up here and also here. Just wanted to hop in here and say I was pretty unhappy with my mistakes, but I think it's important to realize that you are working hard to get better and you don't have to aim for perfection every time. In fact, sometimes those imperfections kind of look nice and it adds character to your drawing. And then on the right side here, I did some test painting. This is the masking fluid that I have and I was trying it out, trying to figure out how to paint this. I really like this look. Obviously the shading doesn't make sense. I don't think everything has to look perfect. I'm just trying new things right now. So this was my test page and then this is gonna be hopefully the better one. So this is my desk setup for when I paint. This is my palette. I don't have a palette. I just use a Ziploc bag. It works really well and you can always just wash it and start all over. That's my watercolor, and then I'm just watching YouTube while this is my reference photo. And I had some fries. Here you can see that I'm just painting on the clouds in the background. And if you've done clouds with watercolor, you will know how difficult it is to make it look natural. 
Or maybe it's just me. I'm sure it's just me. <laughs> so I should really just speak for myself. But I've been working on a cloud study recently just so I can practice my watercolor cloud skills. And I've been finding it pretty difficult to be honest with you. I don't know what it is. I think I paint a lot better with acrylic just because it's way more forgiving. For watercolor, if you want to highlight a certain area, you have to keep the paper white and not paint on it. But sometimes I forget to do that, so I end up making my clouds not very three-dimensional. So that's something I've been working on and practicing, and I'm sure it'll get better with time. I've also tried the cloud study with gouache paint, and I think it is much easier just because it's more forgiving and you're able to go over certain areas with more paint and cover up the bottom layer. But with watercolor, if you do that too many times, it just ends up looking muddy. So I've been really liking gouache paint lately. I've been watching a lot of videos lately of people recreating Studio Ghibli scenes with gouache paint and can I just say how amazed and in love I am with everyone's art? Watching people create beautiful artworks seriously motivates me to get better at sketching and painting myself. So thank you to all you people who share your art with us because you have motivated me to pick up sketching and painting again. If you're watching this video and you're thinking of picking a craft back up, definitely do it because it is so rewarding and I promise you it's going to make you so happy. I just peeled off the masking fluid and there's still a little bit left here, I'm going to have to fix that. But my painting is basically done. Sand Tower still looks a little bit weird, like the proportions here, but I'll just have to leave it. I'll get better, but yeah. This is it for my video. This was my first ever painting video, and I think it turned out okay. It's not the best but I think I can only get better from here, right? I'll keep working on it, but basically I want to do three more Toronto-inspired pictures um, to end off the series, and then, yeah, we'll see what else I do. I've been working on some paintings of pictures I've taken in Japan while I was there, so I might work on that as well. But thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so happy you stayed till the end. And I hope I see you again in my next video. Bye!